evening and welcome to Jim Mooney's World of Weather, your quick time to long range weather forecast schedule for April 14th to the 26th. Weather period for April 14th to the 18th. Models are indicating generally zone of flow close winds to the nation, above normal heights with the wind shear. And um, all the models are in agreement with this situation, uh, with this pattern. We're going to go to the 18th in that period and then we're going to go through the models. This is the GFS ensemble. This is the um, European deterministic, European ensembles, and the Canadian ensemble, all indicating the same thing. However, um, some of the models are indicating a withdrawal from the southeast, uh, the southwest, I'm sorry. And we're going to go here, I'm going to show you this. As you see, um, the 570 line down across Texas and Missouri. Um, during this period, um, low-level moisture from the Gulf, along with stalled boundaries forecast across the region, will cause heavy rainfall from the western Gulf coast into the southern Appalachians and the Carolinas. Now, during this period, um, temperatures, we're going to go to temperature anomalies, are forecast to be 10 to 20 degrees above normal, except for maybe the portions of the southwest. I'm looking now at the period for April 17th to the 26th. Here we are at the 18th. Miles still indicating weather change with the weak cold here across the southwest. And then we go to the end of this period and see that there's very little change in the situation. But I disagree with this solution. Now, um, the ensembles are forecasting above normal, uh, below normal temperatures across much of the eastern and southern U.S., above normal in the west. Now, um, I think areas from the Great Lakes, Ohio, and Tennessee Valley to the east coast, conditions are cooler. The air masses from forecast frontal boundaries that track across this region will have different source region and negative departures to be more frequent and larger during this period. Now the GFS ensemble means indicated more significant upper trough uh, deeper in the western Gulf of Alaska. Now we're going to look at this pattern. Now this is the GFS ensemble. You see we have a deeper trough here across this region in the eastern U.S. We have a ridge across this area. Now, another thing I want to look at, and this is the um, the Canadian, this is the Canadian Climate Prediction Center. We have a trough here, a ridge across this area, and this is exactly what I mean. So, um, with the upper trough deeper in the western Gulf of Alaska, resulting in a strong upper ridge across the northern plains towards the northwest and western Canada. This is what we see here. And this will result in a deeper trough near Hudson Bay. So um, during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures for this region. And then we're going to take a look at the temperature anomalies. When you look at the 21st, you see temperatures will be about uh, 5 to degrees below normal in the east and will be about 5 to 20 degrees above normal in the west. This is the ensemble. All agree with this. So um, precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here, above normal precipitation for this region. Next we're going to look at the period for April 22nd to the 26th. the 22nd. Now the GFS is more um, pronounced with this um, this uh, pattern of forecasting a ridge in the west, weak trough in the east. You can see um, the darker uh, purple over the Great Lakes area. And um, then we go to the GFS ensembles. And then now we look at European 
Ethereum ensemble has uh, below normal heights here, below normal heights across this area, and above normal heights where the GFS forecast is charred. And when we look at the Canadian, see if I can get the Canadian. Here we have the Canadian and its forecast of weaker height anomaly. Still a very weak chart across the um, eastern U.S. you can see here. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures in this region. And for this area, anomaly are forecast um, to be um, 10 to 15 degrees below normal in the east, and temperature anomalies in the west are forecast to be 10 to 20 degrees above normal. And for our precipitation, forecasting below normal precipitation here, above normal precipitation for this region. So that is the long range weather forecast collection for April 14th to the 25th. Thank you for coming to Jim Mummy's World of Weather. Have a good day.